Testing, testing. One, two, three, testing. Hey y'all, welcome to my room. I'm wearing my loungewear right now. This is my indoor kimono. Every kimono is an indoor kimono. This one's a winter kimono because it's like comforter. Highly recommend. The Japanese do it right in so many ways. So, I've got some stuff to try on for you guys. I decided to do an actual outfit put together kind of video because usually I'm a lazy piece of shit and I just like, am like, oh, look at all this stuff I bought. Look at all this new stuff. Whoa, look at this, whoa, haul, haul. Here's another haul. No ma'am, reduce, reuse, recycle. We're gonna go through some stuff that I have been loving, loving that is all thrifted. These are gonna be entirely thrifted outfits. Since I am doing a thrifted video, it only makes sense that this video would be sponsored by ThreadUp, so thank you ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Oh, hi. Like I said, this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. I'm gonna be showing some real cute pieces that I got on ThreadUp, which if you don't know what ThreadUp is, ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift shop, which is lit. You can find name brand stuff like Old Navy, Madewell, J. Crew, things like that. And also vintage hidden gems of brands that you don't even know. Like I'm gonna show a shirt that's designed by Suki. I don't know who Suki is, but she makes a damn good shirt. In this video, I'm going to mix and match uh, thrifted pieces that I already have in my closet with stuff that I got from ThreadUp, but um, I think ThreadUp is a great thrifting opportunity for people who maybe are used to online shopping. Like, tons of your favorite brands are up to 90% off, which is crazy. So that being said, ThreadUp is offering you guys, my viewers, a special discount code of 30% off your first order if you use the code ARDEN. 30, which I think is dope. Uh, it's fun to be able to shop consciously and save money while also being more environmentally conscious. I think it's important. So yeah, if you see anything in this video that sparks some curiosity in you as far as thrifting goes, like I said, I think ThreadUp is the way to go. So click the link in my description box to get 30% off your first order with the code ARDEN30. Yes. And now I think it's time to go look at some cute outfits. So let's go see what I put together in this thrifting try-on collection, we'll call it. Yeah, collection. Outfit number one, it's called, I didn't actually think about putting together an outfit before I started this video. Yup, hit him with it. What? I've got my beautiful box of thrifted stuff from ThreadUp. We gonna start putting some outfits together. Here's one thing I got from uh, ThreadUp that I was really excited about. This is an American Apparel skirt. Uh, I got it for a great, great low, low, interestingly low price, which I'm gonna put somewhere right here. <laughs> but something like this works so well with any kind of like basics you wanna thrift. Let's take a trip into my closet and get basic. So to build off this guy, we should probably go into my t-shirt section. I have now partitioned my closet off so I have ample space for each thing, living for it. I thrifted this from a thrift shop called Sleeper in LA, which is a really cool independent shop. This guy is the Conan fan club year two. What the Ooh. <laughs> What is this? Why is this? Who is this? It's mine. I love this guy so much and uh, I love it because it's soft and it's big and it's worn in. And I think like pairing something super feminine like this little skirt with something a bit more masculine slash nerdy <laughs> and kind of tying this guy up could be really cute. So I'm gonna throw that on together real quick. So here we've got kind of our base little t-shirt skirt combo moment, which is so cute. Personally, I would be tempted to pair this with my grody, ass old Nikes. These are my favorite shoes that I bought probably like five years ago. No, not five years ago, three years ago, four years ago. Um, they're old and they're delicious and like look at how dirty they are. I love them. I just had to check to make sure no like spider was like making a home in this shoe because it would not shock me. Excuse you, excuse you. This is the look, turn and looks. Also, if you're someone like me who doesn't always like a tucked in shirt, you could also do a little bit of one of these. Oh my God, who is she tying up her shirt? 
I don't care how old I get. I don't care how long this earth exists. This way of wearing a t-shirt is one of the comfiest, most flattering to me when I work out, when I'm running around doing errands, like whatever. I just love having my shirt tied up. So there's our cute little Conan look. Yes. Also, do we love that this skirt fits perfectly and I got it online? Someone knows her size. Yes. Wait, look how cute my skirt is. You look great. Woo! Also like this. Like why does no one just appreciate like a real grunge like chill? What? My, my shirt's out. Shirt's out. You know, sun's out, shirt's out or whatever. And wait, there's more. I've got three different kind of like thrifted jackets that could kind of go with this maybe. We've got this kind of like really cool faux alligator moment, which is kind of cool. I've got my denim jacket that actually Will's mom handed down to me. I count that as secondhand slash thrifted because I thrifted it from her closet. And also this gorgeous velvet like smoking jacket that's actually Japanese, which is crazy. I bought it at Outside Lands, which was really cool. Cool memory, so I love this thing. I think this could go real cute with it. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe if it was like a little tuck to it. Let's do a little French tuck, see if that helps. What do we think? Too slobby, really cool vibing on it. I don't know. Here's the weird thing about like talking about thrifted clothes is like I can't recommend it to you. I can't be like, go over here, go get it. But that's also like the magic of thrifted clothes is that this is mine, not yours, but you can find your own this. You know what I mean? And then it's yours. I'm not high. I'm just telling you what I know to be true, which is that fashion is your decision. You thrift things the way you want to. Love this jacket. There's a top I have to show you. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you right now. I actually wore this uh, when I was at Disneyland, so I think I might have posted pictures of it, but this is from Thread Up as well. And I think it was less than 15 bucks, which is like awesome. It's this little like tie baby doll number. Oh my God, it's so Ooh. cute. Wait a minute, I'm putting this on right now. Okay. I could never like sit down and tell you 10 outfits that you need to wear. I have to try them all on, see how they feel. You know what I mean? Get the vibes. And then I'll be like, yes, this is a good look. Love this little houndstooth number though. Okay. So I also got just some plain white shorts from Thread Up, which are just from J. Crew. And I thought they would be perfect for the summertime just because it's nice to be able to throw stuff on. One thing that I kind of messed up with though, <laughs> when I went to Disneyland, we did the like Grizzly Rapids thing or whatever, and I got soaking wet, like absolutely soaked. Classic, that would happen to me. And when, <laughs> when this shirt got wet, cause it's like pink fabric, it rubbed off on my white jeans, which is like so classic. So if you see a little bit of pink, that's why. Ugh, this knot is really making me work for it. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep, thank you. Ugh, at least you know it's gonna stay on. There's just like something about this that's very parent trappy to me. Like a real era of like, I don't know, Americana, Mary Kate and Ashley, Holiday in the Sun-esque vibes that just make me so happy and take me back to like such a simple place. And maybe it's because I've got hair clips in, but I'm just feeling the 90s realness and I love it. Like also the tie back. I'm flattered and I'm comfortable. For this though, I don't really know what you would wear as a jacket. I guess if you wanted to do the full 90s thing, this guy would be your best bet. This is from Earl Jean and it's a small. And I like this because it's very fitted. <laughs> Look, it's also got that really like 90s babysitter vibe. And I mean, I'm wearing my same shoes but that's because you can't go wrong with just a very nice worn in pair of shoes. One other shoe that I could do though, which is not thrifted, sorry, but these are Rothy's, which are made out of plastic taken from the ocean, which is very cool, um, and are recyclable and machine washable. You can throw them in your uh, washing machine, they'll come out all bright and new. These are also their pro- Oh my God, my Rothy's. The Wrath of the Rothies. They're also the Pride Editions. They have this really cute little rainbow right here. So this would be cute. Very babysitter vibes. And <laughs> I'm down. 
One other really cute top that I got from ThreadUp was this like 90s tank top. It's got little glittery something or others on it and I thought, you know what, I'll switch it up. Switch the top up. Look at this tank top, it's so cool. Like, come on. Even with this little bad boy, this is that Everlane top that we thrifted. Um, last thrift haul I did. Oh, I'm Chessie from Parent Trap and I won't hear two words about it. And look, these are not thrifted, but these are like gorgeous sunglasses. Like, oh my God, who? Who is she? Oh my gosh, living. And this top I think was like 10 bucks. It was cheap as shit. So cheap and lovely. It's like, you know, casual day out. You don't wanna go crazy and have some insane look going on, but you just want that little touch of elegance. I got a little shine here. I got some shine in my top. How could you be sad? That's all I'm saying. How could you be sad? One other thrifted top that I wanted to show. This top, this top. Let me try to find an appropriate bottom for it. One sec. So I think I mentioned this before, but this is a Celine skirt that's a 44. It's way too big for me, but I got it for 20 bucks. So it was like definitely worth getting. Um, and I kind of wear it lower on my hips just because I try to pretend that that's what it's supposed to look like, even though it's definitely supposed to be a mini skirt. Um, but I'll show you like theoretically if I ever left my house at night to, you know, drink alcohol or dance up on someone, probably will, um, then this would probably be the outfit that I would wear. Yes. Yes. There is just something about this combo. I know it's like two different shades of purple, two different textures. It's wild. It's all over the place. And I love it. That's, that's my kind of style is like the style that almost is not a style. I think like everything about it makes me happy. Like I love all this texture up here. The back is like tied in a corset and I think that's sexy as hell. And this skirt is just adorable. I just really, I actually do need to get it tailored. I've been saying this for years. Like, you know, flashback to a video that I probably made four years ago where I said the exact same thing. Um, I'm gonna do it. I just don't want someone to ruin it because can you imagine how sad it would be if like it came back and it was bad? I would be so deeply upset. Anyways, I really need to get that done because like this is like absolutely a look. Even just it kind of being like low and a little chill is like a look. But can you imagine if it was like snatched up here? <gasps> But I think you could take this little ensemble, ensemble, if you want to speak French, um, to two different ways. You could say this is like you're going out to a place where you're just trying to dance and have fun. Hence these bad boys. These are my acne shoes. They're the tennis shoes that acne came out with last year. And I love them. Hey, calm down in there. Will got these for me for my birthday. So I was very, very spoiled and I love them. And I think they're so perfect. And like, if you're trying to dance, like this gives you height and you look awesome, but also so comfortable. Like, look at them. <gasps> they're so beautiful. I love you. I love you so much. And in that case, you could pop back in with our really cute thrifted guy. Texture, 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 clash. I love it. Excuse me, sorry, what? What? I gotta go, Italy's on the line. I'm just saying, it's a look and you don't have to be jealous. Now, if I was going for like summertime cutesy fling, then I could also do these little babies right here. <gasps> oh, these are those Marc Jacob ones that I also got from thread up and they're so cute. Okay, I already changed the next thing, sorry. You weren't privy to the transformation. So this was something else that I thrifted from thread up because A, wedding season, um, also just like cute in general, but because this is a little bit boxier and uh, that's a specific look for some people, personally, I like to taper in my waist a little bit so I have this belt that is also thrifted 
This is from Sleeper, which is another thrift shop in LA. It is the perfect size for my waist. Like, I can't even tell you. I love this so much. And I think like, look at that, yeehaw. Where's my horse? I need to hop on right now. Where's my old town road? I'm here. Casey Musgraves, I'm coming. This is a Madewell dress, by the way, and I got it for this price. Pew. Very exciting. And also with this, same thing goes, like any jacket really would go even, because we haven't gotten to try this guy on yet and I love it so much. Let's try on this little quilted number. For you know, like after you've been dancing at the wedding and you decide to take a little breather, you can walk out. It's kind of a little quarter length sleeve. It makes me feel fancy. So next up, I have a pair of pants that I wanna highlight and I'm gonna try a couple different tops with it. But these are like my favorite new pants that I thrifted of all time. Here we go. Here they are with thrifted belt included. Actually, I had to pay for this separately and it was almost more expensive than the pants. So cool. These are from Reformation Vintage. These pants are beautiful and I love them. So let's take a peek. I got this amazing uh, Rolling Stones tour shirt, which is kind of like a muscle tee with red velvet on it when I was thrifting in LA. And it's from a place called What Goes Around Comes Around. So I'm gonna try this bad boy with our pants and then we're gonna try one other top just to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna kind of French tuck this, like just do a tuck in the front. So this, if I pull this guy tight, is kind of what the pink pants look like when worn with just like a band tee. That's kind of dope, right? I love these pants so much. They're a little bit too big for me, but when I cinch in the belt, it just like gives me such a defined like paper bag waist. And I love that. I think that's so good. As for shoes, let's see what we have. I kind of want to throw these bad boys on. It doesn't really go, but like I said, I am a disaster walking. Like that's the whole point is that I just wanna wear whatever I wanna wear that day. And I see red here, I see red here. I think it goes, I wanna put them on. And these shoes are so comfy. I got them thrifted and they were just like wrecked when I got them. Like the insole was coming out, like the leather uppers were just like falling apart. All of it was just having a huge issue and they look a lot better today than they did when I first got them. But how cute! Swi switching the belt out. What? Simplify. I want to simplify, but I also want to make it even worse. This is also like the best belt. So the day you find a belt that cinches your waist exactly how you want to is the day that you are finally satisfied with life, I think. Yes, I'm here for it. What do you think? What about these ones? Maybe this is too much, but what about my new Nikes? These are not thrifted, but these are my new Nike kicks. Oh my God, I love them. I know Nike, not a great company, but if you are someone who loves sneakers and you always wanna get a pair of like Air Maxes or whatever, but you feel bad um, like I do. These guys are made with plant-based dyes and hemp insoles. So at the very least, they're using sustainable materials for most of the shoe. So I think that's good and yeah, I'm planning on wearing these for a really long time and taking good care of them. So, I don't know, I don't have to explain myself. I make poor decisions just like everyone else. That's who I am. But how cute would these look with these pants? Love it, living for it. Listen, the discussion about greenwashing companies is not one I wanna have in this video, but I'm happy that people are at least trying to make strides to do better things. So one other thing that you could do is do a complete 180, switch it up and go kind of boho with these pink pants. So I'm gonna throw on this peasant top and see how we feel. Yes to this. Wait, I'm gonna tuck this in and it's gonna be so cute. <gasps> yes. This top is also from Thread Up. This is originally from The Gap, I'm pretty sure. Ain't that right? This part of the screen. Well, how much did I pay for it? That much, pretty good. I'm just trying to live my rural truth, y'all. Look at this. This is cute. This is approachable. If I saw you stopped on the side of the road, I would help you. That's the kind of person I am in this peasant top. Also, still goes with our beautiful Nikes. Don't you think? I would still wear them. Also, sorry if there are sounds of gardeners. 
they're gardening outside. So this is another dress that I got from ThreadUp. It was originally from Cost Plus World Market, I think, or just World Market, I can't remember what it's exactly named. But it's basically just like a midi dress um, that I think is so cute, especially for summer. If you're someone who like lives in a bathing suit during summertime, I think you need a dress like this. So I will try it on for you and show you what I mean. I mean, come on. Oh, it has pockets. Oh my god, it has pockets. Couldn't get better. Couldn't get better and then it just did. So, oh my gosh, my Minions has been showing. How long has this been showing? No one needed to know about this. Everyone needs a dress like this for summer. Sorry, it's true. It's also double layered, so like underwear and stuff or bikinis if you're someone who goes from like wearing a bathing suit to going to a dinner. This is like the perfect dress for that because you can wear this on the beach. It's super light, it's super breezy. If you were to get like it soaked in water, it would probably dry in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> but then you can also dress it up and have fun with it. Like I would do with these cute guys. So these are some neon shoes that were originally from Steve Madden, oddly enough. I got these when I first moved to LA, so I've had them for five or six years. I've gone to so many weddings in these shoes. They have lasted me through the years, let me tell you. And I think they add like a fun kind of summery charm to any kind of dress like this. These little beauties, hi. Then it becomes like a little colorful moment. You could wear like really pretty earrings with it. I have a really cute pair of bird earrings. Wait, let me show you these earrings. They're so cute. These little guys, I never have an excuse to wear them, but I love them so much. They're like little um, parakeet earrings, but I love them and they like hang from your earlobe. Like, hi. Can you imagine? So cute. Now, if you wanted to as well, if you wanted to cinch again, you totally could. You could do gray belt cinch cinch in a pinch and then let it kind of like come in just a little bit more um, so that you can really accent your waist. But I think this dress kind of does it itself. And like I said, pockets. Yeah, cute, living. So I have one last run around dress that I kind of want to try on. And then I'm gonna scour my closet just for anything else that's like noteworthy that I can think of that would be worth showing because I do go thrifting pretty often. So I wanted one more like cute little run around summer dress that I could literally like wear tennis shoes with, wear little heels with, if I need to go have like a meeting, like whatever. I wanted one of those kind of dresses and I found it in this gap dress from ThreadUp, which is so cute. It's such a perfect length. I love the open neckline. Like this is one of my favorite little classic looks. And because the color is really flattering when you have a little bit of a tan, I think it's like cute for summertime, cute for deeper skin tones just living for it basically. So I'm gonna go back to a neutral looking outfit and then I wanna talk about some key pieces that I love in my wardrobe that I didn't necessarily put an outfit together for today, but I think could work in a lot of situations. One jacket that I wanted to highlight that I didn't really get to talk about um, was this jacket that I got thrifting in Santa Barbara. It was during Cinco de Mayo. Mexican culture is all about that color and that richness and that depth. And I love that, like I'm all about it. So to have a little piece that's reminiscent of that I think is really, really cool. And it's got kind of a denim collar that goes with the whole thing. Living! A shirt that gets honorable mention when I'm talking about thrifted clothes is this Friends shirt that has been absolutely destroyed. Like it has holes everywhere. It's so unbelievably soft. I got it while I was just thrifting in, I think it was on Melrose actually, and it was so gorgeous, but I can't even use it as a sleep shirt because I fall asleep and then my arms like get caught in all the holes. So I think I'm just gonna have to like rock it, maybe with something like this, I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna put it on real quick and just see what it looks like if I just wear it with like normal clothes. It's just, it's falling apart, but I do love it so much. It's just very holy. If you wanna look like you've just been semi-mauled by a bear, this is the t-shirt for you. Ooh, I have one other piece. It's another top, but it's so beautiful, and I've definitely posted about it before on my Instagram or something. I'm gonna try to find it real quick because I love it so much, but I never wear it because it is kind of delicate and also hard to wear, and I'll explain why. Oh. This angelic baby girl is a silk Valentino shirt that I actually got for like 
25 bucks when I was thrifting, which I was so impressed by because if you know anything about thrifting in LA, when people see a brand name, they jack up the price like crazy. Thrifting sometimes can be like even more expensive than just going shopping for something because if it's of brand name value, it can just be insane. Um, so to get this for really cheap, I was so happy and it's my size and it's gorgeous, but it's a little difficult to wear. <laughs> so I'd like to refer to this shirt as a photo shoot shirt because you can't really wear it out and about in the real world. If you can't tell why, just look to the side. It's so beautiful, but it's so booby. And like, I don't have the boobs to keep these guys together. So it just instantly wants to like flash a nipple, you know what I mean? But it's so gorgeous. And when you take photos in it, it's so flattering because it just, you know, really shows off your decolletage, makes your chest look beautiful. I took photos in this for the cover tour article um, that I got interviewed for, and it was so cute. Like the photos we had were like some Zoe De Chanel realness. It was so so adorable, really really cute. But I can't tell you how many times the photographer was like, and your nipple's out. Oh, and there's your nipple. Oh, there it is again. Oh, it's the right one now. Like, I can't tell you. So many nip slips. I mean, <sighs> that man has seen my nipples more than I think Will has. This bad boy, beautiful, just not utilitarian. 100% flash, no substance, because I can't wear it really. So my hair is a little bit more messed up than it was at the start. I'm a little sweatier. But overall, I think we've done something good here. Uh, once again, thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Um, I genuinely had such a good time making this video. I love talking about thrifting. I love going thrifting. I love finding unique pieces that just feel like they've really got a story behind them. Like, I don't know who wore that Valentino shirt, but I wanna see the photos of that. And I wanna know how they did that. I don't know, there's just something about it. It just feels special when something's been passed down or it feels like it has a history. Um, I think that's something that's really cool about thrifting and then also the sustainability aspect of it is awesome um, because obviously you're using something instead of sending it to a landfill, which is great. Anyways, I hope you guys come up with some cool stuff around it. I'm sorry that my style is a little wacky sometimes, but I like to play. What's the point of doing it if you don't get to play around? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. If you like thrifting videos, if you like outfit building videos, then comment down below, let me know, because I could do that, what I just did, for hours. It's a delight for me. I genuinely enjoy it. So yeah, let me know. All right, I'll see you guys later. I gotta go clean up this horrifying mess. <sighs> oh.